So besides prefixing the branch names with the ticket number, I also like to include the ticket number in the commit messages as well. As you can imagine, this is quite tedious and error prone to do manually, and that's why I use a Vim macro to help me out with this. Here I'm working on a project called My Project. It's an imaginary project. I'm on the develop branch and I want to branch off in order to develop a new feature. So I'll prefix the branch name with the ticket number and follow up with a short description of the ticket. We are going to pretend that we're adding some CSV functionality, so I'll just modify a markdown file and pretend that that's it. Next, I'll run git add and git commit, and this will open up Vim, where we will be prompted to type in our commit message. And here's how I do it. For the macro, I'll use the character M and I'll jump down to the line where the branch name is specified using a simple search. Next, I'll jump two words forward and yank text up to the forward slash character. Now I'll jump back to the first line again and paste the ticket number between a pair of square brackets. That's the formatting that I like, but you can use whatever you want, of course. Next, I'll add an empty line below the commit message and add a single white space character after the closing bracket. To keep things clear, I'll clear the last used search pattern and press Q to finish recording the macro. Now that we have the macro set up, let's cancel this commit by force quitting Vim. And to test out our new macro, we can run git commit again and just hit at m to prefix our commit message with the ticket number. We just ran the macro that we recorded previously. And that's it, we have a nice commit message, prefixed with the ticket number, beautiful. Now, I like to use the character m for this macro, because it reminds me of the word message, of course, but you can use any character you want. I personally like this approach because it's project independent. The only requirement is that the branch name is prefixed with the ticket number. On the downside, this is not scalable across a team with multiple people working on the same code base and using different kinds of editors and stuff. And for enforcing something like a commit message format, git hooks would be a much better fit. So that's it for this video. I'll see you next time.